So we're moving on with what we're given and how that determines how we find the equation for a line. In this point, we're looking at an example where we're asked to find the equation of a line given two points. And we're given that those two points are negative 2, negative 4, and 1, negative 3. Now, if you notice a trend, our first step is generally find the slope. So in this case, since we're given two points, we'll use the slope formula. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And in this case, again, it doesn't matter which point you start with as long as you use the same points coordinate to start with on the bottom. So we'll use 1, negative 3 as our, uh, our x2, y2. So this is negative 3 minus negative 4. Negative 3 comes from here. Negative 4 from the other point over 1 minus negative 2. So that it equals negative 3 minus negative 4. Remember, minus a negative is the same thing as plus a positive. So negative 3 plus 4 is 1. 1 minus negative 2, that's the same thing as 1 plus 2, which is 3. So our slope is 1 third. Now we have a decision to make. We can choose either point, and I'll work it out both ways just to use one as a check for the other. So we'll go ahead and use negative 2, negative 4 first, and we'll plug that into our point slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus negative 4 equals, we determined our slope to be one-third times x minus x1 in this case is the other coordinate in our point, which is negative 2, so x minus negative 2. Minus a negative becomes plus a positive, minus a negative becomes plus a positive, and we have y plus 4 equals one-third times x plus 2. Distribute the 1 third on the right hand side. And it, it also another thing, if you haven't noticed, uh, often it'll say to write the equation in slope intercept form. If it doesn't specifically say, we should always put it in slope intercept form. It's implicit that if we ask for the equation of a line, unless it states otherwise, that we put it into slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So y plus 4 equals 1 third times x is 1 third x plus 1 third times 2, that's 2 thirds. Now we subtract 4 from both sides. But when I do this, I'm going to go ahead and put this in terms of thirds. So negative 4 minus 4 is the same thing as minus 4 times 3 is 12 thirds. And that's because 12 divided by 3 is 4. So negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. So we're left with y on the left hand side equals 1 third x 2 thirds minus 12 thirds is negative 10 thirds. So minus 10 thirds. Now just to show that we could use either point, let's go ahead and we're going to use point slope form again, only we're going to use our other point, 1, negative 3. So y minus negative 3 equals, the slope is the same, 1 third times x minus 1. So minus a negative becomes plus a positive. We have y plus 3 equals, let's go ahead and distribute the 1 third, 1 third x. Then it's going to be 1 third times negative 1 or minus 1, so it's going to be minus 1 third. Now subtract 3 from both sides. And again, I'm going to convert 3 to thirds, which would be minus 9 thirds. 
We're left with y on the left hand side and that equals one third x negative one third minus nine thirds is minus ten thirds. So we end up with the same equation either way and the equation for a line containing the points negative two negative four and one negative three is y equals one third x minus ten thirds.